Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial, we'll convert Excel files to PDF using Power Automate. Before we get into the actual demo, let's look at a few Excel files. The first Excel file that I'm going to use during the demo is on your screen. It has got few pie charts, it has got a table, etc. The next Excel that I'm going to use for a demo is an Excel which has got a lot of data, tabular data. When I try to print this Excel, you can see that this Excel is not intended for printing and in fact, a column overflows to the next page. So that being said, let's get into the demo and build a Power Automate solution. For this demo, I'll select an automated flow. I'll select the trigger as SharePoint and I'll select when a file is created or modified properties only. To this particular flow, I'm going to give it a site address. I'm going to give it a library name. In the next step, I need to get the file content. So I'll say get file content and I'm going to use the SharePoint action. To the action, I'll specify a site address and an identifier. Next action is where the real magic happens. I'm going to use the Mohimbi, the convert Excel document action. To this action, I'm going to pass in the file name. This should give me file name with extension, which is the output of the trigger. And to the source file content, I'm going to pass it the file content. So finally, I want to go ahead and create the file back in my SharePoint. So I'll select SharePoint and I'll type in create file. To this action, I'll specify a site address and I'll specify a folder where I want to write the file back. I'll give it base file name dot PDF and file content would be the processed file content. I'll give my flow a meaningful name and I'll test my flow. So I'll test my flow manually. So let me upload a file. This should trigger my flow. My flow is running perfect. The convert Excel document action has been triggered and my flow has completed. If I go back into the PDFs, here I see that a PDF has been created. So let me quickly open this PDF in a browser and here you see, you have the perfect fidelity. So this looks perfect. So let's look at a second use case. A use case in which we had column which overflowed to the next page. Let's see if we can fit it in. I need to go into my Power Automate and see if there's an setting or a configuration that I can use. So let's look at the configurations one by one. So first comes the range. You can go ahead and convert visible pages. You can convert all documents, active documents. Next is, do you want to convert hidden rows? We don't have hidden rows, but if you have hidden rows and if you want to convert it, you can say yes or no. Same goes to the columns. I think this is the setting which I'm interested in. So I want to fit the pages Y to one. And similarly, I need to fit the pages tall to one. I just have one page. If you have multiple pages and if you want to convert a range of page like page two to five, you can use this particular option such as start page and an end page. You can also specify a quality such as optimize for print, optimize for on screen or original. If there's a setting which is not available out here, you can specify an override parameter. At this point, I think this is good. Let's try the fit page wide and fit page tall and let's trigger the flow and let's see the output. I'll again drag and drop a document out here. Perfect. This should trigger my flow and the output should be created in the PDFs folder. If I open the output out here, you see, it went ahead and tried to fit the particular output in a single page. So here, my friends, this was a quick demo on how to convert Excel documents. I hope this demo was informative. Thank you for your time and bye-bye.